Okay, welcome back guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification button and also please like this video if you find it helpful and also comment to kind of help the algorithm kind of push my content even further to those who would need it. Okay, so let's carry on. First of all, let's drag this devil of a tool. Click and hold the middle mouse scroll button and drag this all the way to the end. Just leave that where it is. Okay. Okay. So let's have a few thoughts on how to tackle this. I'm thinking maybe I should even cut this. Cause cut this piece into two. Cut this piece into two. One for the beard and one for one for the beard and one for the center head here. Okay, but we can just do everything. Ah, I think it's better to break this into separate description. We can just keep. We can still keep this car, but break this into separate description. But one very, one very, very important thing to do is to make sure you have good reviews on there. But that be necessary for the for Maya's paint F uh, paints to, to kind of paint on the kind of paint on the UVs of this because we need UVs kind of use the Maya paints tools. Yeah this will be fine. This will be this will work just fine. Let's see for the for the ice cap. See for the ice cap we need to put, let this spread out a bit more. So have more textile density to work with or textile resolution to work with. So I just click on layout just to spread it, just to spread it out further around around this around the zero to one space. So that should be fine. Okay. Mm, I think we just mm, I think we can just use one of these then create separate different descriptions for it. Okay. Uh, I think we are good now. So let's go back to XGen. The XGen tab. Then we can create description for this. We won't be having separate description for this. Just enable me break this into parts that can be easily managed okay so let me hide this for now okay uh, fantastic now we just lost let's see exigen window great I've lost XGen window. Fantastic. XGen can be really weird, like so buggy. Going back to XGen. I can't find it in here anymore. Awesome. Okay. I will need to close this. I need to close this file and open it again. Let's open the file again. This is it here. So something like this happens when you work with intelligence. It's quite buggy. Okay, but well, looking at the let's see if we can can't really find. Okay. So looking at the structure of the air, make a duplicate of this. Let 
see if we can get this rotated to an angle that looks somewhat kind of straight yeah something like this mm. so now we have the xgen tab in there now we have our xgen tab in there now okay so let's just create let me select this first add a scalp select this scalp which is selected click on create new description so once we put this in a new collection let me just name this to head underscore hair underscore c o l l for collection then this description if you're not already familiar with xgen this collection is like your group then this description is like your subgroup under this group in here which is called collection so just see this just see the description as your subgroup so select this i'll name this to head head underscore hair underscore desc description this lines this is fine randomly across surface is fine placing and shipping guide very important once we want to place the guides where we want them to be just checking this again just to be sure mm. let me just put top in front underscore top head here click on create so right off the bat we have nothing in here so to create a guide we need to click on this plus icon in here to add guide now just tap let me bring this here so you can figure out where the where should, where should be starting from so it's more or less, less more or less starting from this part so I will just drop something further around the air. Okay, so that's this that will be like our first guide. That will be like our first guide. Let me put it here instead. Because that will be like the center point. Okay. Then we can use the selection to select this. You can delete that if you want to. Okay. So now the formation of the hair, the formation of the let me do this here, the formation in here for how the shape of the strand should be. Let's see if I can draw this out. So we have something more or less like so, something more or less like this, something more or less like so. This one comes across like so. So this is more or less like the shape, our shape also and the directionality of the guide. Like directionality of the guide. So we're gonna keep this in mind. So we're going to use the same formation, kind of create the air uh, guides for this with the same flow, with the same X flow around it. That's pretty much what we're going to do. I think I won't, I won't leave this here just as a guide. So, and it, it has a very long hair to it, to him. So, I'll select this guide, scale it out even more. Like so. But that's way too much. Let's just put something like this. Okay. So, see if it counts for now let's put this at 100 for now 100 for now uh rebuild guide rebuild guide uh i don't know if i should make it eight though exit is kind of buggy sometimes it starts weird let's let's, let's see if it will work well this time put it on eight okay it actually works that's nice it actually work that's nice so 
then I will take this get this backward like so. So we want like a so we want like a transition because they're not just all the same length. So the hairs in front are a bit shorter. You can see they're a bit shorter around here. Maybe shorter around here. So maybe I should even scale this down a bit more. Okay. We want some more. Then I'm going to use let me move this to out of the way first. And I'm going to use the sculpt guide. Would be on the left mouse click to increase the brush size. Then I can sculpt this in a specific way. So this one should be let's see okay the one thing I usually like to do is to kind of get the using my art guide board art guide to kind of block out where most of the shape, most of the airline should be. So, so the art guide. I think we should have one around the air. Okay. Uh, I think I will need. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, somewhere around here should be fine. Add another one. Let's add two more. One, two. Okay, so I'm going to be working on just this left hand side, and I'll mirror, the, mirror this to the other side later. Okay, so, uh you should have been the correctly okay let's just flip this we can flip this to the side x on that panel orthographic let's try left yes left is better so now up to us gonna figure out where the side should be how far out is there going out on this so back to the guide i think we need a bit more around here Think here also. Yeah. Yeah, also like so should be fine. Yeah, something pretty much like this should work just fine. Okay. Then we can continue this on. So add one here, here also. Can I figure out how far back you should be? Let's see. Yeah. 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 Okay. And add one here. Okay. Okay, something like this should be fine. This is just a rough block out. This is a good rough block out. Let's do a quick save for this. So, I think I will start moving things around in here. Let me see if I can. Can I select? How many points do we have in here? Look for an angle like this on an empty space. Right click on node, control guide points. How many points do you have? 18 here. How many points do you have in here? 
Okay, it's kind of imitated, interpolated between what we already have in here, so that's fine. So I'm just gonna select every other thing. No, select every other guide and see if you can make them it also. Let's see, let's rebuild those bit on it. Hopefully, we don't, we don't have any weird issues in there. Save. So let's go and let's go in there and check if it's actually correct. Right click on old control that okay. We have it in there, that's fine. Okay, then click save. Now this will take a while so. You just need a good amount of patience and just to get this to look right. So um, let me start by doing a universal scale for most of this. Okay. It will save. Select this, I'll go to my sculpt brush, get this like so. Let's get a curve, curve to it, something pretty much like this should be fine. Okay, so it's pulling back backwards, kind of balls, facing upwards, also. Too. Select this. This is the call to it. Okay. Facing this direction like so. Select this. in this direction okay get this like so okay Maybe we'll rotate it down like so. This one should fall back in this direction. But somewhat facing like so. Get, get a nice shape in there. No. Okay. Bend this on this angle like so. This one should be bending in this direction. Okay. Same also. Same also like so. Okay. So then piece by piece instead this. Sing this. Facing up for the bit more. Okay. 
okay I can copy this right click on load copy guide select this paste guide I think this will help speed up the workflow some more copy paste but this I will rotate upwards some more like so Select this. Somewhat facing upward. Somewhat facing upward. It's more like gravity is pushing it upwards. Yeah, I won't say gravity. Maybe it's even the air. Air gel is even using. If we can actually use any air gel. Or some, or some weird creature that I killed. Then took this slime and rubbed on his head. Making his uh, point upwards. That'll be a that'll be a good one to see though. So let's just keep pushing this up. Okay. I'm not entirely sure for the back door. Okay, the directionality for the back door. But I just get everything facing upward. Okay. Add the shape to this. Okay. Uh, this slides bend to this. We could save. Uh, I think I missed one step. I think I missed one step. Set project, please. Let me make sure this is pretty set in here. Let's make sure that pretty set in there. Action. Fantastic. Good. In there. Okay. Okay. Select this. Right. But well, most of this is this should, should be longer. Most of this is supposed to be longer. But we'll fix that in a bit. Let's just get the general shape in there first. Seems like I need to break this into two separate parts. Break this into two separate. I can't do all of this in one in one go. Push this here. We could save. Okay. And I would I think all of this you see. Okay. This should be longer. All of it should be longer than it is right now. Same here also. It will be way longer than it is right now. Just 
thin this out some more. See one more. Especially these two. Extend this out. This one should be longer than the other. Okay. Yeah, this size, this size seems fine for this. Then let's go back to add, no, turn on, visi turn on visibility. Let's go back in here. And let's begin to add some more. So you should, you should kind of interpolate and kind of find something closest to it to take the same shape. Okay, I think some of this we need to increase the length also some more, like so. Most of this we are still going to go back and then readjust. But for now, I think we're in a good place. Then in between here, like so. Okay. Let's see what we make of this. So I'll save this. Before we generate as in here, I'd like to make some corrections in here. Let me go back to preview and turn off only primitive in view. Turn that off. Now we have as all over the place. Do a quick save. Go back to primitive. I have a template I usually use. So the templates with zero point one. It's zero no, it's in zero point zero one. Zero point zero one. So I'm going to be using zero point zero. 0 0.0, 0 0.015 instead. Okay. Okay. Then let's see. Uh, yes, then for the taper. We have 0 0.71 and 0 0.76. 0 0.71 and 0 0.76. What just happened? 0 0.76. It's enter in there. So notice that we have airs all over the place now, which is not precisely, which is not entirely what we want. Well, let's start by increasing the density for this. Hmm. Now that's a bit too much. Let's just put it something lower for now. Let's try 17. Maybe even 10. Do a quick save. Let's turn on anti-aliasing for this. Multiple anti-aliasing. So that will give us better visualization of the hairs in here okay there's all over the place for now that we will fix in a moment but i think i need a few guys around here okay and if you let me hide this for now i think i need a few guys around here let's just come in here and hide some more or oh, they should have played between themselves. Okay. Be even here. It's not like I imagine so many, so many guys, but 
it's not too much it's something i can still work with and control still have a great amount of okay i still have a great amount of control over this so you have a amount of control over this select this you need to move the shape let me pull it out first to eliminate that curve on it then add something like so we quick save i don't know if it's a good time to mirror this to the other side though let's mirror this to the other side so i'm just going to come in here and mirror selected now the middle part is cancel but that's fine we would fix that in a bit so let's see what we have hmm. for now we have this all over the place but at least we're getting something close enough there is something close enough that we can let our manipulate to look fine. I think I think I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm definitely missing something in here. Let me do a quick save. Can I undo? We do, we do. No, let me do this for now. I don't win anything because XGen can be really, can really mess things up. I want to delete the, the hairs on the other half of the head. So I need to see something now. I need to see something that I'm missing. The shape. Shape was to be pointing towards the direction. So. I will select half of this. I believe I can select the other half, then delete it. I need to work on this half some more. Shapes accurate shapes I created is not extremely accurate yet. So I need to, need to do some fixing in there. Need to fix the shape some more. It should bend it towards this direction. Okay. Select this piece. Let me see if I, let me see just maybe probably rotating this should just should be F. Mm. Not really, it's not really fixing, it's not really fixing it. I need to straighten this out first, get this somewhat like so instead. <coughs> Facing the direction some more. Facing this direction some more. Okay. Same with this. Let's get this facing this direction. Same with this. Okay. 
something pretty much I'll do the same also for this piece so it should be more like so okay just do a few more like this change it towards that direction okay let's do this again let's see what we have we are now getting something close enough getting something close enough okay select if you have this rotate this down backwards okay probably should be a good time to mirror this to the other side i guess select all of this let's select most of this at the top push this towards the direction select all of it let's mirror again select this make some corrections to it okay Select this, I'll delete it. Select this and mirror it to the other side. Okay, let's run this again. So we're having something please close enough that we can work with. Okay, a big quick save. So in the next lesson, we'll just continue and then keep keep modifying this until we have something good enough to carry on with so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now